Right, what are your names and ages? Dave, I'm 15. Nathan, I'm also 15. James, I'm 15. Nathan, I'm 15. Okay, talk a bit louder. Sorry, um, what instruments do you each play? Dave, play guitar. Um, Nathan plays the drums. <laughs> James <laughs> plays the bass. Hayden plays uh, the guitar. Okay, uh, tell us a bit about the band. Well, we used to be a Blink-182 tribute band and um, yeah, you we thought we'd be bigger, going, <laughs> so we expanded out and... Um, oh. well, well, we did play, us three, like, played like, us three, 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 the man himself, <laughs> David Hindle, and then we started being a bit more serious with it, and really, I think it's, you know, uh, it's good, we have lots of fun together. Started, and, no, this isn't telling anything right, about the band, else, is it? Right. We have fun, and we got Facebook page. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. right um, basically, at the start of February, we decided to get Dave in at practice and started playing a, uh, a song that I like. Uh, well, personally, I'm just saying I was asking to get David before, but um, Ooh, you know, Nay was being a bit weird and um, was like, we head. don't know Dave. But then, you know, later this on, isn't answering anything yeah. about the band. No, let's restart this quick. We are an indie rock band from um, from Wellington. So. Thanks. Uh, how did you all meet, and how long have you been a band? Oh, this see, this is right. Okay, I met James and Nay in in form. In year seven, we're in the same form, and you know, I see Dave around school every now and then. Actually, no, that's a lie. I knew Nay before that, but well, not properly. But oh, yeah, and then, uh, right, Nay and Dave, how did, Nay and James, how did you meet each other? Uh, we've known each other since, but yeah, young reception, reception, oh. one or two. Or but we've only been friends since like year one. So. Mm. Dave got one of the I've only <laughs> met him in year February. ten. Oh, it was only a 10-1. Dave sat next to the one and only and um, kind of just blossomed. Oh, yeah. yeah, Okay, that's Cute. it. Cute. Um, <laughs> what influenced the name of the band? Oh, well, here's a funny story. It's not funny, but it, it's just about the name. We couldn't think of a name for a long, long time. Uh, me and Dave went to a one of them Year 11 showcase nights in the PA block that they sometimes do. And on the drama piece that was on, they had like a words on the on the board and I saw look out and I was like oh, that's pretty cool then, isn't it Dave? Yeah. And Dave was like mm. and then we never chose that name for about another three months but like you know yeah uh, can you describe the band in three words uh, absolutely bloody incredible perfect um who influenced who influences you as an artist individually please don't put that in <laughs> uh, um probably arts and monkeys and cash in the bottom end uh, what is this it for an individual question? Yeah. Okay, sorry, Dave. <laughs> well, well, this as is an artist or a band. As an artist, listen. just you on your own. Um, who influences you? Uh, it's just got to be Van McCann, hasn't it? It has to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah it has to be. Shut up. <laughs> Hayden agrees. Yeah. Um, Nathan says that uh, probably Alex Turner as an artist is very creative. So. I also think that Alex Turner is probably a big influence due to the complexity of his music. Fucking <laughs> 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 oh, James is quite serious. Uh, carry on. Is that a yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. Hayden agrees with Dave. Okay. Kind of um, um, and who inspires your music as a band? Oh, uh, Arts and Monkeys and Captain the Bottom, probably. Okay. It's kind of a blend of both, like the genre. Thick, I mean. So that would would you so describe your music yeah, as a know. blend of oh, the well, two? Oh, this is off bling. Uh, oh. I think we're more like. <laughs> <laughs> Catfish in the Arctic. Catfish in the Arctic. Man. On paper, we're like the Arctic monkeys, but I think energetically and like, I think we're more like catfish. Okay. Um, Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. What made you interested in starting a band? Mm. Just a passion for music, really. We all enjoy playing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we just wanted to. If we go on the radio and you're like this, Hayden, I'm, I'm walking away. I can't. I'm walking away. <laughs> I'm walking away. No, I think I think we, we you look at these artists on um on YouTube like, having a bit of fun on the stage and you think oh, I want to do that because I play an instrument. That's it. That's it's really fun. <laughs> um, what covers do you play? That's it. Oh, a variety. Of we get the list. I don't need a full list. Just a. Let's play for this a second. 
Oh, okay. Uh, it's up there. Right. Uh, so that was our last gig. Well, I mean, the, I can't hear okay. the list. Let's, so. go, let's, <laughs> go, let's, go, let's go for uh, Arctic Monkeys, mm -hmm. Captain the Bottom Men, uh, The Strokes, mm -hmm. yeah, they do like a bit of stroke. The Raconteurs, uh, a bit of Oasis in there Sandy. as well. I'm sure do. You like you, uh, you love And some we do, do we do an undertones song called Teenage Kicks as well? Yeah. That's just a few. Just a mix and match. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your favourite song to play and why? No, we don't really have a favourite between us, do we? I do. I suppose you it's, could say Pass. If you've got individual, individual ones, no, go it's for it. Pass Fire was the first one we ever played yeah, together and yeah. it's still our best. It is. I just yeah. love playing Brian Storm though. It's just yeah. something, something wonderful about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you like best about being in a band? All the girls. <laughs> Uh, just like That's just going in, you know, just like the, the, the like performing it, it yeah. was really fun. Female tension, a little bit. Right. Right. The feeling <laughs> of unison <laughs> as one. Well. Incredible. Like performing and stuff. It's just voice. You know, it is a hobby, but you know, we want to take it further. So it's good in it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> have you faced? Oh, uh, how is it writing your own songs? Um, it's pretty difficult. But, you know. Oh, I, don't know. I think it's all right. Sorry. Dave's good with his. You know, go on, Dave. You're you're um, the main chord. I just like producer. you know, just sit at home. Crying. Got my crying myself. Yeah, you know, cry to myself. Think of some chords, and then bring them here and show them what to play. And then you know. Uh, there we go. It's like Noel Gallagher in Oasis. He only lets me play certain drum beats. Yeah. It's born. It's it born. Did you say it's born? <laughs> it's born! <laughs> okay, you are, he doesn't let us out. Like, okay, yeah. yeah. No, no, I, I think of him and I bring him here and then. Okay. Did, have you faced any challenges when writing your own songs, like lyrics and stuff? Nice fills, put them out of the Oh, that's yeah. a good one, James. I would, yeah. When we're writing songs, I always put fills in. I think lyrics, lyrics are really hard. Yeah, lyrics are very difficult. Are when you have, like, like, when, you know. Dave's got a lot of problems on his hands, and so does Hayden, and so, does Jay, so do I. <laughs> so we all just put them on, on paper. And we caught with some pretty poor lyrics, that's why we haven't really decided on to wrap up a song yet. So. Um, has your musical style changed over the years, and if so, how? We've been together less than a year, so it's okay. always been... Well, so we, say, we, used to play, we used to play like... We used, we used to, to play like Bling 182 and stuff like that. We just as a bit of fun, just a bit of crack. And then we decided as we like so, matured as musicians, we wanted to play things that were a bit more challenging, so therefore uh, we changed our genre. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeah, I mean, Davey joined us there. I thought about it. Davey joined him. Oh. Um, what's the best gig you've songs. ever played? Ooh. Well, I think oh. we had... Jimmy, it's got to be Jimmy. Really? No, I think no, we had no. a mad night in the par all. Yeah, par all was no, good. No, par all, like, no. What do you mean, no? <laughs> Is it because we played a certain romance? No, no, no it's just Jimmy went off. Well, no, how do you not? No, I, I'd that, say that. I wouldn't pass it as a gig, though, because it wasn't like. Padgate University was good. Yeah, that was good. That, that so was, was like... Poacher, so was Hopscotch. So basically, every gig you've done. No, no, we've done a lot more. It gets better every time we do one. Yeah. I think it gets All right, better. let's just say. Because we start like, like, gigging in, in Area 51 in Our international tour. Our first stop and last stop at the international tour. <laughs> yeah, good. Definitely the best. And that was just one stop in Germany. Yeah. Well, um, what is your biggest achievement as a band? Going winning to battle of yeah, bands. Yeah, only yeah, achievement with different teams of band, really. Isn't it? And finally, in the future, what do you want to achieve as a band? Uh, World yeah. domination. Just to, you oh. know, just be able to, <laughs> just be able to like, like playing, have fun, play some playing songs, stages, and then, you know, if we, if we could do that as a living, then it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>